Hi, this is lesson number 60 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn fit object to path feature in Coral Draw. In our previous lesson, in exercise number 56, we learned how to customize artistic media brush that was uh, having similar output. But fit object to path feature is different. Here I have three examples. You can see that we have border with this yellow rectangle. There is a sun that we created with the polygon and these objects are distributed around with the equal distance and here we have curve path with this curve path these hard shapes we distributed with a specific angle and distance so let's see how we can do that this is simple rectangular shape here we have a rectangle tool click and drag and we are going to fill some bright yellow outline we have orange outline size maybe three that is fine inside here we have vector object these vector objects we distributed with a specific distance using fit object to path feature if you have saved object in your computer you can import and you can work with that but for now i am going to take some object from artistic media click on artistic media tool and here we have spray you can see that sprayer is selected and plants category it is selected here since previously i used this so we have more here any category you want you can select and you can place object in your document plant is selected and in front of that under this drop down we have more samples so i'm going to choose the first one since the object is selected so it will be applied to that so for this thing we can deselect any object in the document and click on artistic media I will choose the first one click on drag now these objects are connected with the artistic media path we need to break it and separate that for this thing while this brush stroke is selected we can go to the object break artistic media group apart and now you can see the path in the middle we can select it and delete select all these objects reduce the size If we will ungroup all everything initially will be ungroup and we don't need that so i will click on ungroup objects we can select and uh, rotate we can move all right that's for just demonstration it is enough now we need to create path we can create another rectangle shape click on rectangle tool draw one rectangular shape go to the pick tool select these all elements first you need to select the objects that you want to fit with the path press shift key and then select the path now i am going to select this rectangular shape go to object fit object to path fit object to path dialog box is open and uh, here we need to make some setting group all objects that is important in our document six objects are selected previously i give the number of duplicates eight so it is there and we are not going to apply any rotation so we'll just choose none here so these are the settings here i can increase the numbers let's say 15 and then click on apply once you will click on apply you can see that the objects are distributed with this path now if i want to increase or reduce directly we cannot do it here we need to go back to the previous state by pressing ctrl z undo click in the viewport ctrl z undo now if you want you can make some changes here let's say i want to add more duplicates 18 okay then again click on apply this is how it works if you want to add more Control z undo 22 and then click on apply so this how we can fit object to the path and these objects are group object if i will click outside and select you can access all of them and it is very easy to move the path you can select the path and simply delete here we have a second example so for this thing we will create one circular shape press control key create one polygon 
increase the number of sides to five okay it's not really necessary that we really need to keep it close to the circle we can keep anywhere so this polygon we are going to place around this circle i am going to fill it with the orange move outline we don't need so the polygon is selected press shift key and select the path that you want to use all right here we have number of objects 22 i am going to reduce let's say 9 and now i will click on apply once i click on apply you can see that the object distributed around circle but it is taking the center point because our origin is centered here if i want to change that i can go back control z undo and simply click on this point this time if i will apply the objects will be distributed around the circle outside this way now click outside select the circle press shift key and resize it now we can fill color so this is how easy it is we can distribute object with a specific distance around the path there's another example here we have a heart shape with this curved path with a specific angle and distance how to do that we are going to create hard shape here we have common shapes and uh, under common shape we have a lot of shapes here the heart is selected previously i use so click and drag to draw a small heart shape fill it with the red color move outline we don't need we can create another bigger heart shape and we can distribute this object around but if you want to arrange this way perfectly from both side you need to draw a curved path half of the way so let's do that with the pen tool here we have pen tool i will click press shift key click and drag okay so here we have a curved path now to close this path you need to double click on the end point here double click now go to the shape tool and single click don't double click just single click so there will be one point now from this point we can move this way all right and this is what all we need and further changes if you want you can make it you can click on the end points and we have directional handle you can do that but for now that is fine and this is the path we are going to use for this object so simply click the hard shape press shift key and click on the path now here we have number of objects nine group all object is check and let's try from the center click on apply from the center this way we can assign the angle also with a specific angle we can rotate the objects go back control z undo and here we have modify rotation for all these three examples make sure that the auto rotate follow path is checked so i am going to click on uniform and here assign degree is 90 okay let's try with the 90 degree apply look at this now the tip of the heart shape is following the path and if i will change here it will affect the objects undo ctrl z go to the previous state and let's apply here 75 then apply now you can see that the tip of the heart is not following the path exactly undo i will keep it 90 and then click on apply so this are with a specific angle and distance also you can distribute object with the path now if i want i can increase the hairline weight let's apply one color red select both object the group heart shapes and the path press plus key and then you can mirror here horizontally and place it to the other side and there is another way if you want you can select these objects and hold it with the mouse from this point press control key click and drag to the other side while you are holding the left mouse button press right side of your mouse so the objects are mirrored and copied now the path is selected i will select the hard shapes ungroup here here i want to add another object so i'll select this press plus key just rotate
so now we can select all of them and once again I will group so this is how we learn fit object to path feature in CorelDRAW three different way we distributed object around closed path and open path that's all for now I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video thank you